Hey IT HireWire readers, it's Chris Sepkowski here. As 2009 comes to a close, what a crazy year it was, wasn't it? You know, some of us probably took a look at the Cash for Clunkers program. Some of us perhaps lost jobs or uh, had to re-examine where we fit within our organizations or maybe had to take on a much bigger workload. But one of the things you couldn't escape in 2009 in IT was this move towards the cloud, cloud computing. And as we head into 2010 here at Hudson, we're taking a look at the cloud as a, as a big trend for 2010 and trying to understand how it's going to affect IT jobs. So what I wanted to do today was just review a terrific article by Leon Erlanger in about July of this year, and it was an article entitled, The Tech Jobs the Cloud Will Eliminate. The article begins by mentioning that the IDC predicts worldwide spending on cloud services to increase to $42 billion by 2012. That's just a massive shift of capital from traditional IT data centers and in-house applications to a different approach. The main point of the article is summed up in the following. The IT jobs most at risk are those focused on configuring and maintaining infrastructure. Anytime you have outsourcing of functionality, the need for administrative skills installing the latest patch goes away. I don't see nearly as many enterprise job openings for server administrators, database administrators, and infrastructure and network people as I saw in the past. Companies just won't need them as much. The article goes on to say, within enterprise IT, there will be a growing job emphasis on managing contracts with the service providers. You'll see more positions in supplier relationship management and coordination. They'll also need people who can understand and manage the parts of those cloud technologies that are retained inside the organization. The CIO will likely spend more time as a contract negotiator and manager and orchestrator of providers with a focus more on business process rather than CPUs, disk space, and cooling systems. They'll also have more time for their role as a business leader that takes strategic view of technology. Finally, the skills required of in-house software developers will also be affected by the cloud. There will be more job emphasis on integration with software as a service. If you're paying someone now to code an application, tomorrow you'll be paying someone to configure and customize software as a service application for the business. So my question for you guys is, you know, how are you addressing the cloud in, in 2010? Uh, are you, uh, you know, angling for the next software as a service implementation at your company? Are you curling up with the Amazon API? Are you practicing your vendor management skills? Uh, our IT team here at Hudson implemented CloudDarlingSalesforce.com earlier this year, and they're evaluating Google to replace our email system. So here internally, we're even uh, you know, working on the cloud and, and what that shift means to us. So I'm curious uh, what you're going to be doing as you head into 2010 regarding the cloud. Uh, please leave a comment on our blog and, and enjoy the holidays.